So guys, we're at the Pike in Long Beach. We've seen this car before. Yep, that one right there. Hey, you're homies with Dominic, huh? going on dog what are we doing out here we're waiting on the parade baby we're waiting on the parade man make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe for my boy here man let's go right. Super car guys we're waiting for all the formula drift cars to pull in they're all out on the parade route right now and they're gonna be pulling in here and we're gonna try to put the Lambo right there but I think we got to wait just a little bit for them to come okay guys it looks like the drift cars are pulling in right now the uh, the CHP has stopped the road. That's the Royal Purple car. Giving us some good reps right there. You guys are missing a great show, but that's all right. We're bringing it to you guys right here. crazy enough to drift a Ferrari. Guys, I'm loving, absolutely loving that Ferrari. Tell you what guys, this place got really crowded really quick. Look at this. That's one of the parts about doing these kind of events. You just get bombarded with people wanting your autograph. So we'll see how long they want to hang out here and, and sign autographs. In the meantime, we're going to try to get our car in here. Get it, Lucci, get it. Some of these 
these guys and meet them, but I don't have a clue who any of them are. Everybody I know didn't show up today.
right into the wall with the first round. And then every round after that, we got better. And uh, at Long Beach last year in Irwindale, we actually did great. We got some advancements, got some victories, so the rotary was kicking butt. But it really did take all year to kind of get the car dialed in, get me comfortable with it. Um, you know, and it is a judge sport, so it's not just about driving it. It's about having the judges also be happy with the way it looks. And uh, we felt like we really got there at the end of the year. So that puts me in a position where I'm really excited about this year because I think we've got a good car, the team's awesome, it's my friends, my family, and uh, we're looking forward to Long Beach. It's my hometown. Like, yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah, and you guys, we got some footage of him at Irwindale. That was about three months ago, two yeah, months ago. It wasn't even that long ago. We were hanging out over at the, the Carnage crew, yeah. and we got a whole bunch of footage of all of you guys going up. Sweet. Practice. We weren't at the actual event. Yeah, yeah. watching you look yeah. for you on our YouTube channel Supercar Garage. Appreciate it. Follow Kyle Mohan Racing and I will be checking this video out so I'm looking forward to it. That's it you guys give them a follow. Hey how's it going man I'm Chris. Good. How are you? What's your name? Brandon Sorensen. Brandon Sorensen. So tell me a little bit about your car. Hey so this is a BMW E46 actually with an updated front end on it from a BMW M4 but we have a Whipple Charge uh, comp If you don't have bad luck, you're not a good driver. Yeah, exactly. If you don't hit the wall once in a while, you're not trying hard enough. Yeah, exactly, yeah. You gotta be pushing yourself and your equipment to keep up with all these top dogs. But you're healthy this year, your car's healthy this yeah. year, we're gonna see some good stuff out of you. Oh, right? I sure hope so. <laughs> good I'll tag you, you on my video. I'm gonna have everybody in here on it. Thanks Perfect. for talking to us. Of course. Uh, it's the motor that gave me the car. Just oh, okay. on YouTube. You're going to be on our YouTube channel. Can we do a quick interview? Uh, yes. Two minutes. What's your name? Rome. Rome. I'm Chris. Chris, pleasure. Nice How's to meet you. Tell me a little bit about your car. Okay. So this is a 1992 BMW E36. Okay. It was originally purchased for $500 about five and a half years ago. 92, you guys. It's a 92 BMW. Yes. It's technically the oldest car in the field by quite a few years. So it's really cool to see this thing out here. It's the last E36 in Pro 1, which is really, really nice. Uh, I believe Denofa brought a 36 about 10 years ago. So big age group in the, the chassis. Uh, it is basically it's an LS platform in the front. So under the hood, we're running a LS3 with a Magnuson twin scroll supercharger. Makes just over a thousand horsepower to the wheels. Nice. Behind that is a G-Force four-speed dog box, technically out of a NASCAR. So uh, that's what allows us to hold the power and put the power down to the ground. They were running a winter's quick change in the rear. So we can adjust the gears and change the, the ratio based on where we're at and what we need to do. Uh, inside is all NRG safety equipment, seats, harnesses, steering wheel, everything that keeps us safe. Uh, as far as personal safety stuff, it's all Simpson. So Simpson fire suit, uh, the, the halo, the Honda. 
bronze device, all that stuff to keep us safe as far as impact as well. All the bushings, subframes, uh, seat mounts, brackets, all that's uh, brought to you by Garagistics, so all billet aluminum. Super phenomenal stuff. We've been running this stuff for actually kind of from the beginning. And that's why we keep running it. It hasn't failed and we uh, we truly, truly trust the product. So as far as suspension, that's probably the biggest part is what gets the car moving around the track. So we're running wise fab to give us big angle and then fuel suspension really to put the traction and the power down to the ground. Along company with that, we're, uh, we're sitting on a set of federal tires, some RS double R's. And you were talking a little bit earlier about your tires and compared to all these other tires. These are real big, yours are real small. Is that a disadvantage or is that an advantage well, so it matters how you look at it. They have a lar lot larger tire, but that means they also have to be heavier. So because this car is a lot lighter, we're allowed to run a smaller tire, so it kind of ends up wearing out about the same. So Very nice. Very nice. So how did you do last year? Uh, decently well. We ended up we ended up running a lot of one more times with a lot of big people. Yeah. So after we got that done and uh, kind of battled our way through, we ended up probably about middle of the pack. Nice. Last year was technically our first full year of uh, Formula Drift in the Pro one series. Good the job. Year, the year before that, we ended up a rookie of the year in Pro 2. Rookie of the year, guys. Good job. That means you guys got to watch for him coming up. So we'll see him, Irwindale, we'll see him at all the events this year. Anyway, hey, good luck this year. Absolutely. Thank you, sir. All right, thank you. Have a good one. You guys, we're out here in Long Beach to Grand Prix for Formula Drift. And you guys all know Crispy? Yeah, we're here, bro. Yo, there was a big time Karen tonight, so I was over there, she kicked me out. Uh, Almost took him to jail. I, know that guy. I wish I would have got it. But you guys see him, he's in every one of my videos. He's out here in Long Beach. He's gonna be out here all weekend. Come out here and get you guys some churros. They're the best on the planet. I got strawberry, I got thank you. Guys, so they're packing it up and rolling out. So we're gonna leave here. We're gonna go over to a car meet right around the corner. We'll see if we can get something going on over there. But uh, we'll see you guys over there. Good.